Hello Stampers, Deb Valder here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and today I'm going to show you how to do my heart pinwheel card. These, this pinwheel right here, that looks like a flower, um, is made out of hearts, and it looks like a pinwheel to me. So I'm going to show you how to do this. The first thing that I did was I started off with my card base, which was 11 by 4 and a quarter and scored at 5 and a half. So this is my card base. The next thing that I did was I did not layer my piece. What I did was I punched out my hearts. So this piece right here, I punched out five hearts which is what I needed for my base and then what I did was I adhered my base to my all right I adhered my gray layer or my pink layer whichever um, this is smoky slate and this one over here is um, blushing bride and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay this down here like that that is my base and believe it or not the next layer is gonna go on the top of that one and you will never see how these are punched out There we go. So there's my base. You never, and it's a great way to save paper. So all of my hearts are punched out of there. I punched out five of the gray ones and five of the, um, excuse me, the smoky slate and the blushing bright. So what we're going to do next is to um, stamp our sentiment, and I like to do that so that I know where to place everything else. So I'm just going to take my smoky slate ink, and because I want this one to be very generic. Um, I'm going to take and I'm going to stamp the word just because. And that comes from a new stamp set called And Many More. And I use this quite often now. I'm using the, um, I've actually gone back to all of my sayings in wood mounted because I just like the way you can just grab them. You don't have to mount them. You just grab it and go. And then they're always mounted nice and straight too. So um, anyway, and many more is the name of the stamp set. Hop on over to my blog for all of the details on this card, but um, and for written instructions also. But for right now, I'm just using the just because. And let's get started on our pinwheel. Um, like I told you, I, I punched out um, five hearts and um, or five blushing bride ones and five smoky slate ones. And um, I took my um, my my. Uh, silicone mat, which you're definitely going to need for this. I took my silicone mat and um, I just put my heart down and I just drew a line with my bone folder like this. And the reason I did that, and you want to make sure, it doesn't have to be straight in here, but as long as you get it to that point and that point, it just makes the folding so much easier. So if you're not straight in the middle, you can just kind of wiggle it until you get it straight, but it makes it fold so much more nice and crisp and so much straighter. So um, I did that to all five of the gray ones, and I did that to all five of the... Um, blushing bride ones. Now what I'm going to do is I punched out a circle from our brand new, this is our two inch circle punch which I'm just thrilled about and then um, I didn't show you the, the heart that I punched it out from. This is our brand new heart. You see how decorative it is and it also matches one of our itty bitty um, accent punch pack um, hearts. They just they have that cute little divot in the bottom. It just kind of it kind of goes in. It just makes it absolutely adorable, and it lends itself wonderful to this card. So I have my two inch circle here, and now what we're going to do is I need to find the middle of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to just fold it in half and crease. And it doesn't have to be a pretty crease, only because we're never going to see this. But it's going to be a great it's going to be a great point uh, focal point for you. So, so what I did was I, I folded it in half and then I opened it up and I turned it and I'm going to fold it in half again so that first of all we have um, a point in the middle and I'm just going to take a little a little marker and just mark that okay so that's my middle right there but you also have these straight lines and they're going to be very important and you'll see what I mean the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your fast fuse now fast fuse is a new product with Stampin' Up! right now and it is a cross between um, snail adhesive and your um, sticky strip and sticky strip is okay to use on this but you're going to put the sticky strip down and you're going to peel off the um, each piece now sticky strip has its purpose and, and I've used it on lots of projects and I will continue to use it but for something like this you're going to see how much easier it is to use so what I'm doing is I'm just basically taking my fast fuse and um, adhering it to um, the um, entire piece right here. You see how easy that is? I'm just adhering the whole thing and it is very, very sticky. But you do want to have um, the whole thing covered 
in fast fuse or sticky strip, whichever, okay? And it is very sticky, let me tell you. Now these lines that we um, used for um, our, our folding are very important. Okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to lay our hearts out here. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're going to lay our hearts out here. So I have five um, blushing bride, five um, so smoky slate, and we're just going to begin. So I'm going to start with one of my blushing brides. I'm going to lay it down even with one of these creases right here, and also even with the um, the little pin dot in the middle. Now you don't need that pin dot, but I wanted to make sure that you saw where I was um, laying things down. Now don't press it down yet because we might have to adjust. I'm going to lay the next one right here on the pin dot and just overlapping this piece right here. Let me see if I can show that to you a little bit better. You see how it's just kind of overlapping just a little bit? Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take and do the next one, and we're going to go all the way around, just overlapping. And when I say overlapping, I mean this piece on the top. So they're going to go point to point here, but overlap just a little bit on the top. Now that we've got something down, that's what I'm going to use to hold. Otherwise, my fingers are going to literally get stuck to the bottom um, of, this, of this pinwheel because this fast fuse is so sticky. It's just like sticky strip. So I have one, two, three, four, and then I need one more. Of this one, and you'll see that I'm alternating um, blushing bride, smoky slate, blushing bride, smoky slate. Now, this is where this one should end up on this crease, so that we have just a half of a circle left. I'm going to look up here, and I'm going to see if they all they all uh, line up pretty good, and they should because I landed right here on um, this one, right on this. Um, crease right here. So now I'm going to turn it and I'm going to continue to do what I was just doing on the other half of the circle. So I'm just going to lay this down like this, overlap it just a little bit, lay it down, lap it over. You see how fast this is? You know I'm all about fast. Okay, we're going to lay it down, we're going to lay it down here, and we have one more. Now this one you have to pick up just a little bit. That's why I said don't push them down too far because once you've gone and you've pushed them down to the bottom you're never going to get them up because this fast fuse is nice and sticky just like sticky strip. Now you see how I did that? I just kind of layered them. All of them are on a little bit of um, layover on the, the one before it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and I'm going to press them all down and that is not going to move and this is how we have this little flower right here and if you look on the back that's where our circle was. Isn't that pretty cool? Alright, so now what I need to do is, again, I'm going to use Fast Fuse, and you can put it right here onto the back of um, your, your circle right here. And I'm just going to take and add it to my card. Before I do that, though, I do need to do the stems. Silly me. Okay, so here are my stems. I did that with our new um, Pear Pizzazz um, cotton ribbon and it lends itself absolutely magnificent because it's just the right size. So what I did was I just cut a piece of our ribbon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to use my fast fuse on that. You can use snail or fast fuse on this, but I just happen to have the fast fuse out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to add it to my card. And you want to get the... Let's see, we'll just do it right over here. This one's going to be a little off center, but... Uh, that's okay. We're going to just lay it down just like that. And to make my um, leaves, okay, this is how my leaves look. And you can either lay them like this, and that's what I'll do on this one, or you can do them the opposite way. But let me just show you how I did that. I took my little um, mini glue dot, and I'm going to roll that over because that's my next one. I'm just going to put one little mini glue dot right there. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to... Here's my mini glue dot. I'm going to take the two ends just like this and I'm just going to bend them so that one is on top of the other. You see that? You see that? Okay, so with this one I cut it at an angle so that it's going up this way. And let me just show you how I cut this one. So this one I did on the upper part. I'm going to turn this one over and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to cut from that little piece right here and I'm going to go straight up. So if I take my they call these craft scissors. In the old days, craft scissors were the rubber scissors that um, we used for um, cutting our rubber when we had to mount our stamps that way. But these are called our craft scissors, and they're awesome for um, material and for ribbon. All right, so now I have one going up and one going down. And um, let's see, let's do it this way. And then um, I'm just going to adhere them to my um, card with my, my mini glue dot. Again, just putting my mini glue dot on there and 
adding it to my card. And do I want this one to go this way also? I think so. Okay, we're going to add this one right here. Now we have our two, let's see, we'll just offset that a little bit. Okay, so now we have our two leaves. Now all we have to do is add our um, flowers. So I put my um, fast fuse on there, and I definitely want fast fuse or um, the uh, sticky strip on there because you want it to adhere very well. Um, you want it to really be sticky, um, otherwise it's going to pop right off. Because this is a 3D project, you want a 3D glue, and that's what I call my 3D glue. You can also use our multi-purpose liquid glue if you want to also. Anyway, there's that. Now for the inserts, what I did was I took my, um, my uh, again, my mini accent um, punch pack, and I used the flower out of there. And I just punched out two two little flowers one in, in the Smoky Slate and one in the Blushing Bride. And I'm just going to use my mini glue dots to adhere this. And you can either put the pink, uh, the Blushing Bride one on the bottom or you can put the... Uh, there's one. And then this one is just going to be offset so it's actually pointing the other way so you can see the Blushing Bride. I just kind of scoop them up in the middle here like this and then just offset it just a tad. Okay, so there's that. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our um, our little uh, pearl right here, and these are our large, our largest of the uh, three sets. Okay, so I'm just going to take this with my scissors, and I'm just going to pick up one of these, and let's do that again. We're going to take and we're going to pick these up just like this, and add it to the middle. And there you have our card. This one don't say anything, but this is my daughter's birthday card. Tomorrow is her birthday, and I made her her birthday card. So this is her birthday card. Happy birthday, Bug. Okay, and if you have any questions, let me know. The written instructions are going to be over on my blog. So I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care.